Hello, and welcome to a very special Having a Drink with Mink. I'm your host, Jason Mink, and today I'm joined by the Fawns. This is a very special drink, and that we are having it right before we head out to New Orleans. That's right, we are on our way to see a very special OG and good friend, Dave Edwards. So, without further ado... Fun comics. That's quite the uh, promise to make. We're going to see if they can deliver on that promise. What do you think, Fonz? We're going to see if we get the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Let's go on inside. Next up, we're outside of Crescent City Comics. So we're going to check them out. We're going to see what they have going on as far as beta readers and uh, just sort of the kind of cheap-ass copies that your cheap-ass leader loves to read. Let's get in there. So, I think we had a little luck, but let's see if we can do a little better. What do you say, Fonz? Hey, I think that's a great idea. And it looks like we found something, folks. Fawns gives BSI Comics the big thumbs up.
number one pal. Cheers. Figures. We're at the rum house. The fine local establishment. I'm enjoying a rum and coke. And my friend here is enjoying something that it's apparently... It's my lovely lady drink, yes, but it's delicious. Right. Don't ask questions. <laughs> now it's a bit cloudy here, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back in just a moment back in the house. See you then. More drinks? Good. Seriously, I want to ask I'm you. I'm not playing anything. Why do we have five of the exact same Wookie right here, Ain't right the same now? Same Wookie, first of all. Okay, can you tell me what the differences are between these five Chewbacca? -s 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 okay, so first of all, right. This guy is uh, obviously has the double uh, bandolier, and so he's, he's an he's online gambler. He's got a new this hat, guy is what you're saying. Is um, unfortunately has a sordid history we can't talk about. <laughs> this guy is in the federal re, uh, yeah, relocation program. Process, yes. right, right. Uh, this guy does not like uh, Arabs. Oh, no. oh, and then whoa. <laughs> this guy, he's cool. Right. He's cool. So and he contributes to charity. He does civic duty. They're all good. And that's your justification for having five of these guys? No, actually, I want to paint one of them with some white snow and right. make that a Hoth Chewbacca. And I want to do one of them as like, you know, this is obviously this is obviously the solo Chewbacca. Fuck off. And then we got other ones for other the dioramas. Solo other dioramas. So he can stand all by himself. <laughs> he actually, he he's the solo him. Chewbacca, and then the other four get to hang out over the like, quad together. Chewbacca's. Right? Yeah. Obviously. And the quad Baca. Alright, go ahead and down. You got hours silly down here. Derek, bring us booze. It's a snack! <laughs>
seems like Breaking Bad level stuff going on over here. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> from New Mexico. Good reference. Good timing. Have you have a good time in so far? Yeah. sort of thing you can expect to find here. Alright, so, Arthur Fonzarelli, I'm going to put you right there. What do you think of your authentic New Orleans voodoo experience? You, hear, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I think I just stood in someone's weed. <laughs> we are at Lafitte's Blacksmith Shop, and this is where we drink. Well, this is one of the places we drink. Join me, won't you? As we go inside. I'm gonna follow Dave. And follow me. Oh my god. I got run over by a car. There's a horse.
Now here's the thing about having a drink with mink. Sometimes you gotta drive to get places. But you can't drink and drive, folks. It's just not responsible. I'm but right now. if you have to drink and drive, we recommend doing it this way. Can from the comfort of your own home. Yes, exactly. Now here we are. We are playing. What's what are we playing? The drift. The crew. The crew. Yeah. All right. And what are we trying to do in the crew? We're trying to find the race that we're supposed to go to. to All <laughs> oh, right. I see. Are we racing against Kaniki down in the uh, canal no, I... for pink slips? For whose what? Pink slips. Hey, chair. Uh, hold that on the brakes. That goes into reverse. I found it by tanks. I'm the B8. My old brother is breaking the rules. How do you think that looks? I wonder how that guy is breaking my left. Hey, I found a lady! You hit a chick? Yeah! Yeah, she swore at me. Oh, dear God. Yeah, I hit a dude! Maybe. Oh, there's a dude. Uh, sir, have you been drinking? No, sir. Best driver I've got to burn oh, hold on. And we're back, broadcasting from a hidden rebel base somewhere in New Orleans, Louisiana. Broadcasting from a hidden rebel base somewhere in Montreal. I'm Jason Mink for Old Guys Who Like Old Comics, and I'm joined by David C. Edwards. Hello. Cheers. Cheers. And we're here in his secret headquarters. And so, we're, and we're back. We're back, and we're still here, and there's Jason, and I'm going to go f sit my fat ass down in a second. Okay, why I love Star Wars? Because in 1977 and 1980, the, the th th add three, you only had so much Star Wars, and the comic books expanded that universe to the point where it was like more of a living, breathing universe. And you had the novels like Splinter of the Mind's Eye and Han Solo at Star's End and uh, Tales of Mos Eisley eventually. But I'm just saying, that expanded that galaxy and it's continued over the past mm, 40 years, 45 years, to grow. And that's why I love Star Wars. It's been there my entire life. It's been there through the good and the bad. And I've gotten to see this fictional universe grow in front of my eyes. And that, uh, Mr. Keener, is why I like Star Wars. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I want like ten us. and we're back. <laughs> Can we have that? Can I do one? Three. On, on the left. That's got to be on the left. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Jason Meg is still here at my house. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can you believe it? <laughs> and just wait till tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. That's when the comedy is really going to begin. Is it July? It so <laughs> would seem. So it seem. But for now, we're going to talk toys. We're going to talk comics. We're going to talk a little bit of history between myself and David Edwards. Now, I. What I did here at Yogurt Drink. <laughs> what? Scotty, it turns out I broke the communicator and tried to open it. Little bits of it busted off. They're all over the floor, Scotty. Beat me up. Captain, you did what to what? <laughs> I, I see a part of it. I know, it's great. <laughs> 
Oh my god, we're, we're dying. dying. <laughs> what? We're dying. We're dying. Yeah. And we're back. <laughs> so, well, it's going to be on three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Oh my god, where were we? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. We've actually been all over the place, and I hope you enjoyed that uh, little travelogue all throughout New Orleans. I've been visiting my good friend David Edwards, and we're here at his super secret headquarters. And we're going to talk a little bit about the past. Uh, now, I've known Dave since sixth grade. We got together because our interests were mutual. Uh, we loved old comics and uh, Weird Al Yankovic. That is true, and we hated a lot of the other people that were there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's absolutely true. And, uh, you know, uh, we wish them no ill will at this <laughs> no, point. No, 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 no. It's and, teen uh, angst. Yes, exactly. And as far as it goes, uh, we've gone on to hate less. And love more. Sir. And love more, exactly. Especially old comics. This is true. Old guys who like old comics. What old comics do you like, David? Oh, I forgot my t-shirt. Um... Well, I mean, I'm a Spider-Man guy, always have been, although my reading comes, like, right up to the edge of the old... Yeah, no, I was related to Peter Parker, I always had a soft spot in my heart for the character and for, you know, everything he went through as a normal kid with, you know, powers and shit like that. Copy that. As a Pittsburgher, it was really exciting to be able to read uh, Amazing Spider-Man in the 1980s because we were lucky enough to actually have the comic book illustrated by our own Ron Friends. Mm. Uh, starting with issue, oh gosh, I wouldn't even venture to guess the number. There are people out there right now who know the number right off the top of their heads and you're screaming at, at your screen, I can't hear you. The bottom line is I knew enough to get us there. And here we are right now. Uh, as far as it goes, though, uh, Ron Friends was a terrific artist. He yes, seemed nice to man. bring back those aspects of the Stan Lee, Steve Ditko collaboration that were uh, really relevant uh, in, in the 1980s. He shone a whole new light on things. Uh, he took us through the symbiote era. He basically took us right up to McFarlane, and uh, for me, that was a real high point of Spider-Man. I actually didn't follow you into the McFarlane era of Spider-Man. I dropped out maybe five issues or so before all of that started. We should have bought ten copies of everything. You get to laugh and drink again? I wouldn't recommend it, no. Aww. So is someone who... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Sorry. Right. That's what I get out of my system. Go Three, on. two, one. <laughs> I thought we weren't doing it. <laughs> All right, we are. That's this tone. I don't know what you just did. That was horrible. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's <was> nice. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, that's it.
that's right, you know, with the little grabby suckery bits, you know what I mean? It's just like once they give you a kiss, uh, you never forget it. That's for true.